if you want to see um, the so-called counterculture of the 60s and 70s as part of a cultural myth, Castaneda helped to feed that and to fuel that. And um, also, if you want to think of the, of the new religious movement of, of neo-shamanism, workshop neo-shamanism, which is influential today as a sort of alternative psycho-spiritual movement, he gave birth to that. There wouldn't have been any such thing. It wouldn't have been Michael Harner's workshops, for instance, without Carlos's writing. So um, while maybe not a full-fledged myth, he certainly created uh, movements and attitudes and values which were mythic in that they weren't totally rational, but they were highly meaningful to a lot of people and continued, you know, certainly till his death for many people. So uh, there was a mythic power, even if it wasn't a tidally full-fledged circumscribed myth called the Castaneda myth, um, his, his trickster uh, persona is also part of that too. This is something where uh, we may be led to question the usual um, orthodox myths by which we live by, the myths of rationality and order and um, absence of trickery in the universe. And those are all questioned, I think, helpfully by Castaneda's mythic uh, narratives.